The movies are back. Blockbusters, rom-coms, thrillers, and this fall, a ton are ready to hit the screens. Here with what you don't want to miss is managing editor at Fandango, Eric Davis. Good to see you, Eric. Good to see you. I feel like last time you were here, we were talking about the mad success of Top Gun. Do you yes. feel like the success of that has really solidified the fact that movies are back? No, without a doubt. You know, I mean, the most important thing that Top Gun did was it provided momentum. Yeah. You know, we saw so many films this summer overperform at the box office, and I credit Top Gun with being such an entertaining movie that people were like, yeah, I remember going, going to, to the, the movies, movies and, and I want to. Having fun. Yeah, and you have a bunch to talk about here, too, so you broke it down into categories. Let's start with blockbusters. Yeah, so we have two giant blockbusters coming out between now and Thanksgiving. Both of them have the word black in the title. Yeah. The first one is Black Adam. This is the next DC live action film from DC Comics. Stars Dwayne Johnson as the popular anti-hero Black Adam. Huh. One thing to know about this film, it also features the Justice Society of America, who are the precursor to Justice League and the Avengers. They were the very first group. Pierce Brosnan, Aldous Hodge among their members. Oh, okay. So Black Panther is obviously the other yeah. one that begins with black. Yes, Black <laughs> Panther Wakanda Forever. I mean, all eyes are on this sequel, not just because the first film was one of the biggest films of all time, uh, first comic book movie nominated for Best Picture, but also we lost Black Panther in between yeah, installments. Yeah, yeah. Chadwick Boseman. And this film will directly address that loss, what happens after King T'Challa is gone. There are a lot of outside forces now trying to take advantage as Wakanda grieves. Yeah, let's talk about some date night movies, starting with the Harry Styles film, Don't Worry Darling, and Olivia Wilde. Yes, the, the Harry Styles and Florence Pugh star in this as a couple who seemingly live this idyllic life in this suburban community in the 1950s. Not everything is as it seems, though. Things get freaky from there. This is one of two Harry Styles movies in theaters this fall, the other being My Policeman. And let me just say, both of them quite steamy, Sarah. <laughs> Keeping it yeah. PG, so quite steamy. Just watch who you watch them with. Yes. <laughs> okay. So Bros is another one. Yeah, I just saw Bros at the premiere at the Toronto Film Festival, and I loved it. It's a big, funny, R-rated comedy starring Billy Eichner as a man who has commitment issues. He meets another man who has commitment issues. They decide to try to do a relationship. And you know what I love about it is that it's a big mainstream comedy set in the LGBTQ plus community, yeah. which we do not see. It yeah. is super refreshing in that way. Judd Apatow produced it. So if you like Judd Apatow films, you know a sense of the comedy in this one. Really fun. Oh, fine. Okay, well, let's, you know, it's never too early to start talking about award season. So let's talk about things we should be watching out for. Yeah, I'm going to start with The Woman King. Uh, it's out in theaters this weekend. This is very much a film you need to see on the okay. big screen. It is a big battle epic inspired by real events, inspired by this real group of women warriors led by Viola Davis. The cast in this is fantastic. They oh. protect their tribe from outside forces. The battles are awesome. The emotions wow. are awesome. Yeah. The cast is awesome. Highly recommend. Very good. And uh, there's Till and the Fablemans. What, I don't even know about these two. Yeah, Till is based on the story of Emmett Till, who's a 14-year-old boy. He was lynched in 1955. This story follows his mom, who goes on a crusade uh, over a decade to try to get justice for the murder of her son. Danielle Deadweiler uh, plays Mama Till. A lot of people are looking at her as being a big awards contender this season. Okay, so um, October is right around the corner, which I can't even believe. we got to start talking about Halloween, horror movies. What do we we have in that genre? Well, Halloween ends. Finally, it's ending. <laughs> Here we go. Who does that? <laughs> this is going to be Jamie Lee Curtis's <laughs> final go round with Mr. Michael Myers. Uh, this is, you know, billed as the last of this trilogy that began in 2018. But for Jamie Lee, it began all the way back in 1978. Uh, so, yeah, going to end the trilogy. This is a big one. Yeah, well, and, and she's probably like, all right, enough after this one. <laughs> um, but speaking of scary movies, you got a bunch coming out on Voodoo. Yeah, so if you're not going to the theaters, then stay home. We have The Invitation, which is a recent horror movie. And then Nope, you can own Nope, uh, along with Jordan Peele's other films, early next week. Nope. <laughs> okay. For more movie info, follow Eric on social media. Thanks so much for stopping by. Good to talk to you about movies.